Now, did you see this? The NBA must be listening to this show. There's no doubt about it. This, you, I'm glad you caught this, Aaron. Yeah. Let's go to this. This is really a big story. Yeah, this came out uh, just about, what, an hour or so ago on ESPN. The NBA, Tony, has ended its relationship with a basketball academy in China. In where? China. In the Xinjiang province, according to a letter sent to U.S. Senator Marsha Blackburn. How about this? How about that? And who has been one of the few voices on national radio who's been beating the drum that the NBA is a bunch of frauds, that LeBron James is the king fraud of them all, and that even Mark Cuban recently is refusing to say, free Hong Kong. Say it! You remember the scene where I'm talking about in the movie? which they couldn't play anymore. Sent back to school? Back to school. Oh. When Sam Kennison's yelling Sam at him. Sam Kennison's oh, yeah, yelling yeah, at yeah. the kid. Yeah. Say it! Say it! <laughs> Mark Cuban refuses <laughs> to say free Hong Kong. And let's go back, Harry. Remember when I said this? Mm-hmm. LeBron James, you can hate America all you want, LeBron. You can hate it all you want. But when you ignore the Uyghurs, and now that that video has been posted, and it's all over the place... Of the, the Muslim, Muslim Uyghurs, slaves, yeah. the Muslim minority, who are basically blindfolded with their hands tied behind their backs at a train station. Yeah, they're evidently going into the train cars to be taken to re-education yes. camps. So and that they can learn how to make those LeBrons perfectly good. Mm-hmm. So Both. that LeBron can... And again, I'm a capitalist. And don't, I know people, well, you buy stuff from China. Of course we do. It's we hard all, not to. Yeah. But you know what? I don't buy Apple pro- phones. I buy Samsung. I don't buy Nikes. I buy whatever's on sale, <laughs> except Nikes. And I'm not even buying Nikes if they're on sale. You should buy a pair of Ruse. I could get some Ruse. I'm gonna, if, you know, if, if, the, if, we, if we could go to a discount store, mm-hmm. but I'm not buying Nikes. I don't buy Nikes. I don't buy Apple. When we bought our thermometer right here, yeah. you go on Amazon.com, right. every single one of these thermometers is made in China. Robin did the research and found one that's made in the USA. And that's this is that's it. it. What is it? What's the name of it? The this brand. is uh, Eye Health. Eye Health. All right. Now, you know, so it's almost impossible to avoid buying things from China. Yes. It's just the way it but works. But we try. But Whenever if you try possible. and you do it, so that's why. And so that's why I've been ripping the NBA because LeBron James he can do whatever he wants. But when he ignores this, so this is the NBA's way because this video is out Mm -hmm. from 2018, by the way. This isn't video shot last week. So the Chinese ambassador on the BBC, got to give the BBC credit here because the American media, if they're in bed with China too, and they're in bed with all these slap, you know, what's Mm -hmm. who are in bed with with the stinking Chinese government. Not the people. The people are good. It's the stinking communist government. Right. And so... Daryl Morey really blew it open when he had had an innocuous tweet last year. October the 4th. Daryl Morey, the general manager of the Houston Rockets, pretty much unintentionally blew the roof off this sucker. As Parliament Bunkadelic once sang. Fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong. Stand with Hong Kong. That's all he said. And that cost the NBA a lot of money. Because the NBA from that moment on said they were not going to put NBA games on in China. Right. They were going to take it away because how dare you bite the hand that feeds you. And so in the meanwhile. Yeah, China did that to the NBA. Yeah, China, yeah. and then that's, why the, and that's why these guys were all angry. They apparently lost uh, between 300 and $400 million exactly. as a result and of so that. And so now because the pressure, because there are people like me standing up and telling these people that they're frauds. Again, I don't care if LeBron hates America. I don't care how many anti-Semites there are in the NFL. That's their problem. They have to deal with that. I don't deal with that stuff. I just deal with calling out frauds. And LeBron James, Mark Cuban, who I've interviewed a million times and I respect, a phony. And I know you they're making money. But here's the thing. The NBA, in 10 years from now, they won't even care about America. They won't even care about selling product here. Because once they get China and 1.4 billion people to carry their games and to buy sneakers, 1.4 million potential customers or mm-hmm. maybe 200 million in the United States. That's saying that 200 million out of 320 million people were going to buy Nikes or LeBrons, right? Mm-hmm. So if you're a business person and you say, I got a potential to make billions here in another country, or I could make a lot less here 
in the United States. And if they get a – imagine the television contract. Now they'll try to play both ends. They'll, they'll still have a U.S. Con, they're, you know, They're still going to be on – American television. Sure. But they're worried about China, and they'll do anything to protect it. So today, as a little crumb to all the people who are finally calling them out, and all the news organizations now seeing that video of the Uyghurs with memories of, of Auschwitz. Yes, I mean, they shave their heads, both men and women, they they shave their heads when they're, when they're taken, and... Then I found out, uh, this is also through the BBC, um, that the hair is sold for wigs. So they're making money wow. off of that as well. I and mean, then it's that creepy Chinese ambassador in the interview by the BBC guy, that guy did a great job. And that clown Chinese ambassador to Britain was an embarrassment. And now that, that video's out there. And Mark Cuban can't ignore it. And, and Adam Silver can't ignore it. And LeBron James can't ignore it, but he, but he will because he doesn't have to answer because none of the reporters in the NBA have the cojones to upset LeBron because he is the face of the league. And that's the bottom line. If you don't see through that, then, you, then you're a communist sympathizer. Maybe you should move to China. I don't care if you watch the NBA. I don't care if you buy like Nikes. I'm just telling you, the NBA has been exposed, and this story confirms that today. Does it not, Harry? Absolutely. When the NBA throws a little nugget out there, see, oh, yeah, oh, they're actually, they're using slaves. They're enslaving people and putting them in trains and taking them to re-education camp. Imagine if that happened in this country. Mm. Imagine if that happened in this country, the outrage. Do we do that to anybody in this country? Do we put people behind their backs and put them on concentration camps to re-educate them because we disagree with them? Now, sadly, uh, in reality, the basketball academy in China has not really been as active anyway, so this really is a, just a crumb to Absolutely. appease. Absolutely. This is, see, we, but, we hear you. We hear you now. There's more than one person screaming about this now. Yeah. Ooh, we better do something. We better do something, Harry. Yeah, apparently the NBA has had no involvement with this basketball academy for more than a year anyway. Oh, isn't yeah. that nice? Yeah. They had to find the thing that would offend the Chinese government the least. And they found and it a, would an hurt empty them the gym least so- in the They pocket. found an empty gym somewhere in the middle of China. Where, Harry? China. Damn right. I stand- I got to give myself a roaring round of applause. Yes. All you cowards on Twitter and social media come at me for coming at the NBA. I'm speaking on behalf of America. We got a lot of problems in this and country. And for oppressed people across exactly. the world. Make your move. Make your move, suckers. All you NBA honks, all you writers, journalists who have been ignoring 